Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Tuesday. It is July the 18th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful Encouraging Word of God, as we do picking up in Mark chapter 3, in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the synagogue, on the Sabbath, trying to do only good. And it was good what he was doing. Um, but in the world in which you and I live, for those who follow Christ, for those who live like Christ lived and speak like Christ speak, the religious world will certainly come against you. The religious world. The lost world, they will ignore you. The religious world will come after you. The, the lost world just wants nothing to do with you. They just want you to disappear. But the religious world will come after you. Uh, they will want to persecute you tremendously uh, to remove you, if at all means possible. In verse 6, the Bible says, And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus told us, The servant is not greater than his master. So if they persecuted me, they will persecute you. And when we stand on the truth of Scripture, when we stand on the truth of the Bible, I promise you there is a hostile religious world out there that is going to come against us hard and heavy. And you must be ready to expect that. And as it comes, we must take an example from the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't not go and speak truth. We don't not go and, and proclaim what Christ has uh, told us to proclaim but sometimes we just need to shake the dust off of our feet and move on out and let those religious people die in their religion because they will not turn they will not come to christ but hopefully by sharing some will but the reality is jesus didn't stand there and argue with them he did what was good he did what was right he told them the truth and then the bible says these words but Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea. Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea. Get with those who believe and build you a fellowship so that you have a place of refuge and strength and encouragement and safety with those who are walking in like manner of faith. But I pray that whatever band you band yourself with, that you make sure, as the Bible says, that they're following Jesus, that they're not following a man-made religion or man-made doctrines, but they're following Christ. They're following the Bible. That's what we do. And when we find that these religious crowds come and want to persecute us, sometimes the best thing to do is follow your example, the Lord Jesus, and just withdraw yourself and go and band with those who believe, those who are following the Lord. And then the Bible says, And a great multitude from Galilee followed him and from Judea. And so, not everybody's going to go. Not everybody's going to follow. But you can find a great many of people who are walking in the truth. Who are following the Lord Jesus Christ. And we see here, And from Jerusalem, and from Idunium, and from the Jordan, they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. And so as the people around in the world see what God is doing amongst the people that follow Christ, they're going to want to know, where can I find that kind of hope? Where can I find that kind of help? Where can I find that kind of encouragement and comfort and love and grace and mercy as we bind ourselves together, walking in the truth of Christ, loving one another, the world around us will take notice. And there will be many who will say, I need that in my life. I would desire to have love and fellowship like that. And so I pray that you have a fellowship like that. I'm glad we do. At Rossville Baptist Church, we have a tremendous, wonderful fellowship of people encouraging one another to walk in the truth regardless of the culture, regardless of the religious crowds around us, regardless of the world who is trying to, who is living an absolute, living in an absolute opposite way of life. Yet still, we are encouraged. We are equipped. We are strengthened. We are built up. We are um, 
in the family of faith. And so I pray today that as you recognize here that the world will persecute you just like they did Jesus. The hostile religious world will persecute you just like they did Jesus. But find a fellowship where you can congregate together. Withdraw yourselves and be reminded that Jesus is the King. So go forth today mightily in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.